Yes, then YouTube, we are back with another video on the Wolf of an Aston Villa podcast. Brought to you by myself, Connor Wolf. Drop this video a like, drop a comment down below, and if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would also mean the world to me. I am proudly sponsored as well by Luke Roper, so if you do want to check out Luke's website, link is down in the description below, luke1977.com. Also, use the code WOLF20, all one word, for 20% off your whole order, including sale items. And today is going to be a match reaction to Aston Villa 4, Everton 0. I was there, hence why this video is a little bit late going live, because obviously I had to drive back. I don't live near Birmingham, so it's like a two-hour drive for me. I just want to say, by the way, Anyone that saw my match reaction against Newcastle last week will know I was fuming at a certain player, a certain Jamaican player, Leon Bailey. Well, he shut me right up today, didn't he? He was freaking phenomenal, by the way. So, I'll show you the score straight away. We did win 4-0 against Everton. John McGinn got the scoring off by some wonderful play from Leon Bailey down the right-hand side. Beat Ashley Young, went onto his right foot, pulled it back. John McGinn easily tucked it home from five yards. Douglas Louise then did score a penalty in the 24th minute. I said straight away that it was a penalty. The guy that I was sat next to, I said, that's a pen straight away. Like, Pickford just absolutely cleaned out Ollie Watkins after he shot, didn't he? It's like, it's a stonewall penalty. And it was a wonderful penalty from Douglas Louise, by the way. And then Leon Bailey. I don't know what happened here for it. For his goal, it did Luca Dean like threw it to him, and it was some awful defending. And then a beautiful right-footed finish, nutmegs Jordan Pickford, and then John Duran nets his first Aston Villa goal. Wonderful, wonderful. So I'll start off with the team news. I was very, very, very surprised actually by Unai Emery's team selection today. So we did go with Martinez in goal, Matty Cash at right back, who I did think was going to play. Esri Konsa, Pau Torres and Luca Dean. And by the way, fair play to Luca Dean because he was very good today. He, he put in some wonderful crosses and he seemed to have like a bit of fire in his belly today. So fair play to him. He was very good today. Kamara and Louise were sensational in midfield. Leon Bailey, he was the one. I thought he was going to start Jaden Philogene, but then the rumour is today that Jane and Philogene is apparently on his way to Hull on a permanent deal, which I find very surprising, but interesting. The RB and Watkins were the two strikers, and John McGinn, captain fantastic, by the way. I'll, I'll show you the stats here. We absolutely played Everton off the park. 60% possession, 13 shots, 7 on target, 89% passing accuracy. Two. Wait, we only had two clear-cut chances. I don't believe that. We had loads in that game. It was just an absolute battering, wasn't it? Like Everton were very, very, very bad. But fair play to certain players. Leon Bailey and Luca Dean and Matty Cash. Two play three players there who I thought were absolutely dreadful against Newcastle. And they were. They were dreadful against Newcastle. But today, they put in a... F they were all Leon Bailey. Oh, that's the Leon Bailey that we want to see. That... Like, if Leon Bailey puts in performances like that, and I feel like he's going to have to with Zaniolo coming in, we, we've got a... He's a good player. That that performance there from Leon Bailey is why we pay, 30, well, 28, 30 million for him, right? Because that's what he can deliver. The only problem is, is he seems to always do this at home, doesn't he? But I'm not going to go negative because he, he really had... A, he was fucking awesome today, wasn't he? Ollie Watkins, one negative for me. He didn't have a good game, did he? And then sods law for Ollie Watkins. He gets brought off after, like, I think it was 70 minutes, right? Or 75 minutes. He, he just didn't have... He didn't have his shooting boots on, did he, today, Ollie Watkins? And then, of course, John Duran comes on. And within, like, what, 30, 20, 30 seconds of him coming on, goes clean through, nicks the ball off the Everton player, touches it round him. And then a beautiful finish past Jordan Fickford. All in all... Uh, just a brilliant day, wasn't it? I, I can't fault anyone. Um, one thing I will say, actually, Pal Torres on his full debut, that right there is why we paid the money for him. Calm, composed on the ball, effortless, playing, playing out from the back. Every pass was on the money. He just looked like a very cultured player. And I think if he keeps putting in performances like that, I don't think we're going to miss Tyra Ming's as much as I thought we were going to miss him, which is a massive compliment I can give to Pal Torres. Also, John McGinn, by the way, I'm going to have a conversation about him. What a player. Like, genuinely, I am someone that was very critical of John McGinn under Stephen Gerrard, and I think even John McGinn would admit himself he was pretty bad under Stephen Gerrard. But you know what? A whole team was. But under Unai Emery, he has... He, I don't know what... what what's he bad at? <coughs> Excuse me, YouTube. What What is he bad at now? Like... 
playing off the left at the start of the game, I, I didn't like that. I thought oh, after seeing how we played against Newcastle, I was like, nah, I don't like that. Don't don't play John McGinn off the left. He wasn't good against Newcastle there, but he's just putting a performance like that. He's just, what a performance! But he, he is so good at shielding the ball. It is genuinely ridiculous how good he is. And Diaby, right? Diaby had a chance in the first start. Wait, it, 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 like a, a quarter chance, not even a half chance. Ball comes in from Luca Dean on the volley from Diaby, right foot, bang. Jordan Pickford pulls out one of the best saves I think I've ever seen live at a football match. How on earth he kept that out, I will never go. And big credit to Moussa Diaby, by the way. We've seen with Leon Bailey in his first season, he was injured a lot. Players that come from the Bundesliga traditionally have a bit of a, a transitional period. They don't really kick off straight away. They do have to have time to settle in. Moussa Diaby's coming, and the biggest compliment you can give him is that he looks like he was a Villa player last season, right? Like he, he's just fitted into that number ten second striker role so good, and he he's so good on the ball in terms of the way he drives. He always picks the right pass. There was a time in the second half he picked up the ball on the halfway line, drove forward with the ball, did a beautifully weighted pass for Ollie Watkins, who then just missed the target with his shot. He probably should have scored, and. I feel like Diaby and Watkins, when Watkins gets his shoot, I feel like Watkins is a very streaky player anyway. So I feel like once he scores one, he'll score like three or four in a row. That's kind of like the player Watkins is. I feel like they're between them are easily in the league going to hit 30 goals between them. Easily just them two. Like, I'm, I'm expecting at least double figures from both of them. Maybe even 20 from Watkins and like 10 to 15 from Diaby. I feel like Diaby is going to get a lot of assists for us. I really do. But Everton were woeful. But again, we can only beat what's in front of us. And maybe sometimes we made Everton look woeful. Like, we were bang on it from minute one. From minute one, we got the ball down the right. Bailey beat a man, played a lovely ball into Watkins, who cut the ball back. McGinn just, r r run, uh, just ran a little bit too far. It was, we were just on it from minute one of the game. And it was needed. I, I, I was not a happy man last week. Like... I did, even, I did predict us to lose last week against Newcastle, so the loss wasn't really what triggered me. What triggered me was just the fact that our players gave up at 3-1. I, I didn't like that, and I didn't. But today, they put in a performance, right the wrongs, fair play. Fair, and fair play, Leon Bailey. That is what I want to see from you, my man. You were brilliant today. But thank you for watching YouTube. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy the game? Who was your standout player? All of that good stuff. Drop this video a like. And if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity, especially after the performance of today. I'm in such a good mood. We absolutely battered them from minute one, start to finish. Everton, if any Everton fans stumble across this, I think you're in for a struggle this season. I really do. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, of course, went off injured. Yeah. I think they could. They're in. They're in a battle. I don't actually think they will go down, but I think they are well and truly in a relegation battle. But yeah, spread the love and positivity. PMA positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love up the villa.